So, I have got a new book to show everybody here. Um, yesterday, I showed my New York City past to present photo tour. And today, I have a cat here. And I'm also going to show you my Washington, D.C. past to present photo tour book. So, let's go ahead and if the cat will let me, Let's go ahead and go over this book. So, it's very much, as you can see, like the New York City book. They fit together very nicely in a shelf. It comes in the same sort of hard case. And it's published by Whitman Publishing Company. The back shows some of the artifacts that you'll get. Okay, and now here's the book itself. And like the other book, it starts out with a map. And this is a map of Washington, D.C. and the places to see. For example, the National Mall, the Washington Monument, U.S. Treasury Building, the White House, the Willard Hotel, um, that is the Smithsonian Castle, uh, the National Archives, Arlington National Cemetery where President Kennedy is buried, the Jefferson Memorial, um, the Lincoln Memorial, Massachusetts Avenue, Connecticut Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, all of the places I've heard about my whole life but I've never seen. <laughs> so I would really, really love to see Washington, D.C. I, especially the Smithsonian. Um, that is the dream for me, is to spend a few days just walking around the Smithsonian and seeing all of the history and artifacts in there. Dwight Eisenhower Freeway, New York Avenue, just uh, a lot of famous, iconic places. Let's turn the page. So, like the other book, there's a nice matte finish picture in the front. And this, in the other book, it was. Um, Sienna colored and in this one it's cyan colored I guess or maybe It's kind of purple, you know, it kind of reminds me of those old cup co purple copies from grade school if anyone's old enough to remember those But it's a nice picture. And it's a nice way to open up this book Now here is a modern picture It shows the White House and All of the Places behind it. And here's the table of contents, and it goes over all of the landmarks that this book's going to cover. Now, here's the instructions, very much like the other book. It explains that you, uh, you go to these landmarks, and then it gives you instructions on how to take a picture. And when you take that picture, you go to the back of the book, and there's these little photo corners that you can, let's see if I can show you what these look like. So these are the old fashioned photo corners. Like if you find in your grandmother's old photo album. Let's put them back here because I'm going to need these at some point when I actually exercise the this book. So, and then what you do is you'll have a picture that should look something like that. But it'll be your picture that you took with these corners. So that's the idea of this. This is why this is called a travel tourist toolkit. Uh, okay. 
let's begin, shall we? So, another thing that's really, really cool about this book is it contains little artifacts. In this case, we're looking at the Washington National Cathedral, and here is a reprint of an old guidebook that shows when it was built and has a layout of the Washington National Cathedral. And what I really like about these little artifacts is they're reprints of old things from the 1800s or the middle of the 20th century. It just adds a little history. So it makes you appreciate these sites a lot more. Now here's some more pictures of the Washington Cathedral. New and under construction. Very cool. A view of the Gloria in Excellus Tower. And here's people coming to worship. And this is the first picture that you will put into this book. And to replicate this photo, stand at the edge of Pilgrim Road, approximately 10 yards south of the Peace Cross. Snap your photo and then place it in here. The next stop on our tour is the U.S. Treasury Building, and they've also included a little artifact, a United States Savings Bonds Interest and Maturity Guide from some time ago. Um, I don't know what the return on savings bonds is now, but I, my understanding is you buy one and maybe in 30 years you'll have <laughs> 13 or 14 dollars for every 50 you you paid or something it's it's not incredibly it's a safe investment but it doesn't have a huge return and then here's the treasury building and this is where you put your picture this is the center for american art and portraiture That's a view from 1907. And the building hasn't changed a lot. There's a tree there. The cars are different. Here we have the Corcoran Gallery of Art. And there's a very cool postcard. And this is a postcard from 1908 with a little letter on the back and a stamp. Very cool. You might remember if you watched yesterday that these are not so easy to get back into their pockets. And it shows you how to replicate your photo. Next is the National Archives. I believe this is where you'd find the Declaration of Independence. And here's a photo you can replicate so you can take a picture of it. And the Library of Congress. Here we have a nice fold-out um, panorama of, it looks like, the construction of the Library of Congress. In cyan, cyanotype, it looks like, which was a type of photography that was really popular back at the turn of the century. And it shows you which photo you might want to replicate. The stairway, so you can see the construction and then the new one. Now we're on the National Zoo. There's a lion. Here 
National Zoological Park, Washington, D.C. And this is a reprint of a map of the zoo from 1914. And it is totally awesome. I'm sure the zoo has a lot more animals now. Here they had lions, antelopes, uh, an Indian elephant, African elephant, monkeys, birds, bears, sea lions, wolves, American bison, elk, beaver, aviary, waterfowl, zebras, llamas, camels, yak, sheep and goats, deer, uh, chamois, <laughs> I'm not familiar with that animal, ostriches, eagles, and there was a stable and a feed house, bathrooms, I mean, but it just shows this zoo is probably much bigger now, but this map is very, very cool, and it's a nice insert, something you could pull out this book and frame. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that I love. This is the kind of stuff that really adds a lot to a book like this. So, I mean, I would buy stuff like that in a gift shop. Here's some pictures for the National Zoo. A nice picture of an elephant. And it shows you how to replicate the elephant cage photo from 1935. I guess that tire is still there. Right there. Here is the Frederick Douglass house. And um, Frederick Douglass um, was a reformer and activist during the before and during the Civil War and after. He worked closely with President Lincoln and the abolition movement to free slaves. He was very eloquent. He wrote his biography, which I have a copy of. And um, this is a beautiful postcard of Frederick Douglass. I really like this picture. It's printed on this yellow paper, but it's a nice hand-drawn rendering of the Douglas House. And this appeared in Republic Magazine under the heading of Celebrities at Home. That this is really cool. Here's a photograph, and this is where you would put your contemporary photograph right here. Now we're on Union Station. This is a woman who checks her makeup across the street from Union Station in the 1940s, and she certainly has that 1940s look about her. She looks busy, and um, it's a photo on how to replicate it. Now we are at the Willard Hotel, and I've heard a lot about the Willard Hotel, particularly. Um, and they mention it here, but uh, the Willard Hotel is where Julie Ward Howe wrote the Battle Hymn of the Republic. And I learned that little tidbit from watching the Civil War documentary, but uh, here's a very nice uh, picture postcard from the Willard Room. Willard Hotel, Washington, D.C., and that's where you would dine. And this is a reprint of a postcard from 1939. very nice there's a newsy next is the Ford's theater and you probably have heard of that from where President Lincoln was assassinated in 1865 here's a, a memorial card for Abraham Lincoln and this is a preprint of a 1865 card. What's interesting, if you look at the back of the print, you'll see how it originally had the raised, the pressed stamp paper. And you'll see on the back how that would have looked on the back, which is just a cool touch. Unfortunately, they do have it upside down, but that's still really cool. So, hey, it's still a nice touch. 
I do love to collect the old postcards that had the the stamped or the embossed paper from back in the day. They just don't make for me like that anymore. Maybe they get hung up in the machines. There's Ford's Theater, and I think it went through a lot of hard times after the assassination, before it was sort of reinvented as a national landmark. And it shows how Ford's Theater was probably something people wanted to forget about. Smithsonian Castle, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a place I'd really, really like to see more than anything if, if I ever get a chance to go to Washington, D.C. Here's a beautiful postcard. Smithsonian Institute, Washington, D.C. This is from 1910. I really, really like the style of that. Old picture. Your contemporary picture here versus this 1916 view. Now we're in the Jefferson Memorial. I think I have that posted stamp. And here um, it's a whole book. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson Memorial, Washington, D.C. I guess it's a reprint of the old guidebook, and that has sort of a 1950s or 60s feel about it to me. 1961, I was right. And um, this is a reprint of the old guide that you would have been handed probably when you stepped inside for your tour. It's a very nice addition. Some nice pictures of the Jefferson Memorial. N virtually identical, but a old tin type or daguerre. Well, it says 1943, so it's just gonna be an old photo. Uh, just uh, it does look a little bit has some defects on it, and then a new photo, and then here's a, a way to get a good picturesque replicate picturesque photo where it's a little bit blurry but you close it on like a cherry blossom or something that would look really good and here we are at the Washington Monument um, one of the most iconic things in Washington DC and what do we have here oh yes a uh, copy of the front page from Frank Leslie's Illustrated Newspaper from 1884. That, to me, is awesome. I, if you watch my channel, you know I have a lot of Frank Leslie's that I like to, to show in my newspaper videos. And this is just so cool. That is really, really awesome. And this is the construction of the Washington Monument. Nineteen eighteen. And now we're at the US Supreme Court. A nice picture of the building at dusk. There's a stamp. And a postcard. Which shows the Supreme Court sitting all by its lonesome. This is a postcard from 1951. I wonder if it looked like that back then. I don't know. There's some um, pictures of protesters in front of the Supreme Court in 1937. And more recent and uh, the authority of law statue and this is where you could replicate your photo 
Now we have U.S. Capitol building. And this is souvenir of the tour of the United States Capitol, Washington, D.C. See reverse side listing for points of interest. And uh, just list them. And it looks like it was validated uh, by a sightseeing corporation a long time ago. <laughs> so that looks like it's from a long time ago. And it doesn't want to get in there very well, does it? Okay. The U.S. Capitol building. Very well-known building. This kid's having a snowball fight in front of it. This is when it's being constructed in 1960. And the new picture. Now we have the White House, uh, Christmas White House stamp from 1963. And what is this? Mail card, 1907. And it's, um, you could fold it up and it was a print picture of the White House in that old style. This is after it was burned down in the War of 1812. There's the First Lady in the Eastern. There's how to replicate the photo. The Lincoln Memorial. There's the stamp on it and a really beautiful sunset picture of it. Construction and today. Looks like a boat race in the 1930s. People riding bikes. This is um, Secretary of the Interior Harold Ix congratulates legendary Contralto Marion Anderson after her heralded April 9th, 1939 performance. Now we have Ar Arlington National Cemetery, which is where, of course, President Kennedy is buried. And there's a postcard of his grave from 1963. Sad place, hollowed ground. And the National Mall. Old picture. I would really like to go there someday. And that's the end. Okay. So, oops, I almost dropped the camera there. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and I've got more stuff to show. And if you're if you're interested, just keep tuning in and I will keep making videos every day. I try to do one a day. So you can look forward to it sometime in the evening when I upload them and uh, listen to them while you're at work or listen to them before bed on your headphones and uh, I appreciate all the comments and the support and the encouragement I read all of it and I appreciate all of it so um, I hope you keep watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed please please subscribe and uh, 
you could do me a favor by clicking like on the video too. So, I'll see you tomorrow night. Have a good evening. Bye.